All right, so this video is just going to demonstrate about how playlists move in relationship to the audio tracks as you make time changes. And this is really important to know because, of course, you have those situations where you may make some tempo changes and then realize you need to comp a piece of the take later and you realize your playlists are all messed up and that now you're going to have to go through and try to figure out how to get them to line up properly and everything. So I did a little bit of experimenting here, and this is what I've come to the conclusion with. Um, so what I did is I recorded the click track on four different playlists here, and I've gone through and I've split these audio files in different places on each of these playlist tracks. So... Um, if I just go back to just a waveform view, and I'm just going to draw here a tempo change, you can see that the audio tracks or the audio regions shift according to the time. Now, also, it's important to note that we are in tick-based or time-based, yeah, tick-based here on the track. So um, as we make these tempo changes, the beginning of each of these tracks or these regions are staying locked in with where I had originally separated them. So if we look at our playlist view here, you can see they've all also done that as well. But the problem you can see is, of course, that the clicks or the ticks aren't lining up with each other. Like, for example, here we've got a tick that's not lining up it's falling right in the middle and it's because the region separation is different than it is in these two tracks and so forth so this can become a big nightmare so um, the other way to be able to of course change time and keep things together I'm gonna first switch to waveform view and we're gonna switch to rhythmic um, elastic audio we're gonna go ahead and draw on this time change so we'll just do something like this. And you can see, of course, everything sticks together. Now if we go to our playlist, uh-oh, you can see that these have all become a nightmare. So this is the problem I've actually run into on some of my other projects. And so there is a way around this, so that was pointed out to me. And let me show you. If we go back to... Um, Waveform view, we're going to turn this off and just revert. And we're also going to go ahead and delete this tempo change here. But if you first show playlists and then you go to your rhythmic audio, then, and I've already done this so it's not doing it again, but it goes through and it actually analyzes all your different takes in the playlist. Now if you go through and you draw on these changes, you can see now they're all sticking together. So you get a different reaction or a different, um, a different result when you enable audio snap with your playlist showing than when you, when you don't have them playing. So if you know that you are not done comping tracks together and you're changing your tempo and you're using elastic audio, I would highly recommend that you show your playlist uh, um, before you switch to your elastic audio. So anyway, I hope that that helps somebody out.